In this video, I will explain what rebroadcast, reattach, and promote is. When a transaction is sent to a node, it is possible that the node neighbors did not receive the transaction. Reasons for this to happen are, for example, the node the wallet is connected to went offline after the transaction is received, or the node is severely overloaded. This situation can be resolved by rebroadcasting the transaction. This basically means sending the exact same transaction to the node and all the node's neighbors again. In JavaScript, to rebroadcast a transaction, use the broadcast bundle API call. The same transaction bundle is sent to the node, which in turn sends it to the node neighbors. Most of the time, a transaction will be received by the node and its neighbors. Unless you are using your own full node and know that a transaction was not broadcast, there is little use for rebroadcast. Instead of using rebroadcast, most users will benefit by using reattach or promote to get that transaction accepted by the network. This is the user's wallet, and this is the transaction. This is the node the wallet is connected to. These are the node neighbors. The user will submit a transaction to its connected node, and the node will broadcast these transactions to its neighbors. If you are sure this node went offline after the transaction is received or the node is severely overloaded, the user can rebroadcast this transaction again. If the number of transactions on the IOTA network is low and a submitted transaction is not confirmed within the first 30 minutes, this transaction will increasingly unlikely to get approved. The transaction will remain pending. This is because the tip selection prefers newer transactions instead of older ones. By reattaching this transaction to the tangle, you create a new transaction, which is more likely to get confirmed by other transactions. Reattaching a transaction means creating a new transaction with the same signed bundle as the original transaction. The trunk and branch transaction are not included in the signed bundle. Two new random tips are picked and used in the new transaction and proof of work has to be done again. Let's compare the original transaction bundle with the new transaction bundle. Here are two files, reattachment example 1 and reattachment example 2. I've downloaded both files. This is reattachment example 1. This is the original transaction. This transaction bundle consists of four transactions. Last index is 3, which means we have four transactions. And this transaction is pending. When we reattach this transaction, this transaction is created. Let's compare these two transactions. This is the original transaction, and this is the created transaction. This transaction has the same signed bundle as the original transaction. Let's compare these two files with each other. As you can see, the hash differs. The trunk transaction and the branch transaction differs. The attachment timestamp differs, and the nonce differs. And the same applies for all the other transactions inside this transaction bundle. So the transactions inside the transaction bundle have different hashes, trunk transactions, branch transactions, attachment timestamp, and nonces. So the hash is different. The trunk transaction is different, the branch transaction is different, the attachment timestamp is different, and the nonce is different. When a user reattaches a pending transaction, the new transaction is attached to a different part of the tangle, and the reattached transaction shows up as a new transaction in the wallet transaction history. In JavaScript, to reattach a transaction, use the replay bundle API call. Online tools are available where anyone can reattach a transaction on the tangle. All that is required is the tail transaction hash, with current index is zero. This is the tail transaction hash, where the current index is zero. Here are two online tools where you can reattach or promote a pending transaction. This online tool, and this is the other one. The original transaction can be reattached, or you can reattach the reattached transaction. It does not matter. Reattaching a transaction creates a double spent situation, but only one can ever confirm. The other transaction or transactions will remain pending. 
The recommendation is to keep reattaching every 30 minutes that the transaction remains pending. Chances of confirmation are significantly increased with each reattachment. Let's assume this is the original transaction which is pending. You can reattach this transaction. A new transaction is created with the same signed bundle as this transaction and attached to a different part of the tangle, as demonstrated over here. This is before reattachment, this is after reattachment. What you have created is a double spend situation. Let's assume this transaction is still pending and this transaction is still pending. You can reattach this transaction again or you can reattach this reattached transaction again. As shown over here. These three transactions have the same signed bundle. As mentioned earlier, the tip selection prefers newer transactions instead of older ones. When a pending transaction is promoted, it creates a zero value transaction, which will both validate the transaction and the current milestone. The current milestone is directly or indirectly referenced. The zero value transaction is now the top of the tangle and is more likely to get confirmed by other transactions. Promoting a pending transaction is more effective than reattaching a pending transaction. If you have the choice, select Promote. In JavaScript, to promote a transaction, use the Promote Transaction API call. You can keep promoting until your transaction confirms. Let's create a transaction, but this transaction is pending. This is example 1. This is the transaction that is pending and that has to be promoted. This is the tail transaction hash. It starts with IKS. This transaction bundle consists of four transactions as indicated by last index is three. The first transaction, the second transaction, the third transaction, and the fourth transaction. Let's assume this is a transaction. This transaction is still pending, and these are the coordinator created milestones. And this is the current milestone. Let's promote the transaction. When you promote a transaction, a zero value transaction is created. This zero value transaction references this milestone and it references the transaction which is to be promoted. The zero value transaction references our transaction with the transaction hash IKS and it references the milestone, as you can see over here. This is the milestone transaction hash, GNW. This is the milestone transaction, as you can see over here. The zero value transaction does not contain a signature, and the transaction bundle consists only of one transaction. When we promote this pending transaction, a zero value transaction is created. It references the current milestone and our transaction. After the first promote, the transaction is still pending. Let's promote the transaction again. This is example 3. Another zero value transaction is created, but now it references another milestone. So this is the zero value transaction. It references our transaction. This is our trail transaction hash, IKS. And this is our other milestone with tail transaction hash SQJ. As you can see over here, SQJ. This is our milestone. Let's see what has happened. After the first promote, the transaction is still pending. We promoted this transaction again. Another zero value transaction is created, references the current milestone and the transaction. This is the first promote. This is the second promote. In the future, there will be no need for manual reattach or promote as this is going to happen automatically under the wallet's hood. If more people use the tangle, more transactions, meaning more tips, are created. The transactions are getting confirmed without the use for reattaching or promoting. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.